Hello Stampin' Friends, this is Trenna Brower. I'm here today with another video using the Flowering Cactus Stamp Set and Dies from the January to June 2021 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. Just a quick reminder, since I did a video on using a different um, template last week, I wanted just to remind you of some of the beautiful papers that are in this bundle. Um, it's 48 sheets of six by six, eight each of uh, or rather eight each of six designs and the colors are of course Calypso Coral, Highland Heather, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, and Pear Pizzazz. Another reminder let me just show you of course this is the stamp set love it especially since I'm in the southwest and these are the various dies that go with the stamp set. Just a reminder that these dies do match up with the designer paper. Of course it makes it so much fun then if you don't want to stamp too you've got another quick and easy way to um, get um, to do some um, extra um, what do I want to say just to use your designer series paper in a different way so this is some of the things that you can cut out with those framelits love the fact that we can use the designer series paper also in that in that instance okay let me move this to the side and let me show you what we're going to be working on today. I decided I needed some um, sympathy cards. And I wanted to do something that did not have so many flowers on it so that I could possibly send it to a mail. And this is what I came up with, still using the Flowering Cactus stamp set. So let's get started. First off, I have the Mint Macaron base. Of course, you know that's eight and a half by five and a half and then scored at four and a fourth. The next thing we're gonna do is I've got the Mossy Meadow, and we're gonna go ahead and adhere this to my card base using whatever adhesive you love. Move this over. There we go, center that on there. Next, I'm using some of that designer series paper and I've got four of these squares and they're cut at one and seven eighths by two and a half. And we're just going to line those up about as best as we can. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm not into measuring this stuff. So just kind of give it a little bit of set here. And we'll do that for each one of these. Uh, I probably could have moved that one over a little bit more. Might have to adjust that some see if I can get that up without totally ruining everything since I haven't pressed it down too much yet. Yeah, I got it. Okay, that'll work. And doing the same with these two. Getting that about right there. And this one right about in here. Okay, not bad. Pretty good lining up. All right, the next thing that we're going to do then is I am going to stamp some of those um, little flowers and stuff. So here we go. I've got a scrap of um, Mossy Meadow. And as I mentioned before, I cannot seem to find my Mossy Meadow ink pad. So we will be using my old uh, retired Always Artichoke. And this is the one. We're gonna do this. Got a couple of little flowers. Another one with the sprig for my Sorora. Oops, didn't do that very well. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, good enough. I'll be running those through my big shot later. For right now, I have some that are already cut. And then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is using my sentiment that I'm gonna use, which is sharing in your sorrow. And that came from the um, retired thoughts and prayers stamp set and I will be using the old washi tape punch to punch that out best thing about these is even if you get your stamping a little crooked doesn't matter because you're going to be um, lining it up correctly with your punch so there we go Yeah, let's set this stuff to the side before I get into more trouble. All right. 
Now, due to the magic of video, oh, let me show you too. This is the stamp set that's retired, Thoughts and Prayers. Um, I love this stamp set. I'm sure you can find something similar in the catalog um, from Stampin' Up. But this has been with me for quite a while, and I love the sentiments and just some of the things um, that I could do with this stamp set. Okay. All righty, let's grab our cutout pieces. I've already run my little cactus through the big shot. And I am going to grab my, the ones that I have already punched, and we're going to add these already to my cactus. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then I still have the little flowers. I'm going to put the small one on this cactus right about here, I think. Kind of see where I have it on this one. And then this other one, somewhere around there. Maybe about right here. Let's move them up a little. Okay. Now we're just gonna adhere them to my card. This one, just some tape. And I am gonna just add another little piece of design or of a mini glue dot just to hold down this um, part of the cactus pretty well. I'm going to stick him, I'd say, about right about in here. Okay. Next piece we're going to put down is this guy. Again, just with some adhesive, nothing fancy. And put him, oh, maybe about right there. That looks pretty good. And this guy, I already have my dimensionals on him. I'm going to pop him up just a little bit. And put him kind of a little bit crooked, maybe over just a little bit more. About like that. Now I've also punched out with my washi tape another piece of, or my washi tape punch, another piece of mossy meadow cardstock. And I am going to adhere my sharing in your sorrow to this other little piece, just offset it a little. And I am going to put a dimensional on that, about here. And then since I plan on putting it over something that already has a dimensional, I will go ahead and use again a mini glue dot. Since I don't need one dimensional on top of another, it's going to make it look kind of weird. So this way, we're kind of going to I'll pull it down just a little bit. And might help if I took the stick, took the backing off of this mini glue, off of this dimensional. There we go. And then the final touch, once again, my little twine bow. And using a mini glue dot one more time to adhere it to my card. And just about right there. And there we go. Nice and simple. Love the way it looks. And I think it's a great card to send to a mail for a sympathy card. I wanted to show you the inside of the card. I have used the stamp set that was in the thoughts and prayers that says praying for friends to comfort you, faith to uphold you, and loving memories to heal your heart. Plus stamp the flower again in um, the uh, Mossy Meadow ink. Okay, I want to show you a couple of other cards that I made using that same design. I made a get well card, more of one that's flowery, something that I would send to more of a female probably. And then another one here also using that same design. All of them are the same thing, just a little bit different. This one, of course, I added the Savoro to. But hope you enjoyed this video. It's been fun. I always enjoy doing them. And I think if I would do this one again, and maybe for another female, I would just use the brighter designer series paper and possibly add more of these type of elements to it and bring up the colors a little bit more in that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.